Uh, so my name is Dennis McElroy. I am estimating and uh, business development for the pavement recycling group within Granite Rock. It's a specialized team that focuses on asphalt milling, cold in place recycling, full depth reclamation, and soil stabilization. And I have the awesome opportunity to work with Caltrans to move specifications and uh, just talk about where the state's heading when it comes to partial depth recycling now and some of our other industry partners in Caltrans are working on and we're seeing upwards of 40 to 50 percent cost savings with that strategy compared to traditional remove and replace options. So state DOT Caltrans folks, it's been retermed uh, PDR or partial depth recycling. Uh, for everybody else, county and city folk, it's still uh, cold in place recycling or CIR. The city of San Jose is a juggernaut in the, the pavement preservation game. Uh, they have been for a very long time. They've been doing work probably since 2010-11, just improving their road network and uh, really having an impact on their cost structure for their, their citizens. So we're able to talk to a lot of different agencies using uh, RSA, ARA, these different groups. RSA here in the last couple of years has been real strong at getting the word out on the different recycling technologies and I think that's been a big help. I know we're a producer, but Granite Rock is up on this that the less asphalt we're putting on these roads, the better stewards we are of our environment. You're lowering the amount of trucks needed to bring the asphalt out and you're not impacting the ecology of the area, right? Because now you can get traffic back on this stuff right away. Construction times are cut in half. It's just good all around construction industry, we need to be doing our due diligence on making sure we're not um, prematurely jumping in and using new technologies that aren't going to work. We're using tax money and we need to be responsible with that. In San Mateo County, that whole area regionally is impacted by no dump sites. We're seeing a lot more of the agencies in that region and the geotechnical engineering firms that are assisting these agencies wrapping their head around the fact that this is a problem dump costs are going up and we need to manage that uh, resource that we have in the roadway as efficiently as we can. So that, that conversation is a lot easier to have now that that's really kind of shown itself as a huge issue. We have an extensive backlog this year. We have the most CIR shifts we've ever had. Uh, we're going to complete 78 shifts of a PDR this year. We probably have 180 machine shifts for the FDR. My guys are going to travel. They're going to they're going to see parts of the state they maybe haven't seen for a while. We have a very large job working with the County of Fresno. It is uh, traveling through three separate towns, Selma, Fowler, and Kingsburg. That's a super exciting job, new customer to us, and a, a very big project to showcase the, the impact that we can have with this uh, pavement preservation method. With full depth reclamation and soil stabilization, and that market is it's really exploded over like the last few years. I think people are really finally seeing the value with soil stabilization. That's a big part of our business too. And we've seen that expand as well. So um, one of the interesting things about soil stabilization is that we start getting into cement stabilization or lime stabilization, where we start treating the poor subgrade materials, even uh, like building pads, right? We're seeing that uh, a lot of that kind of work out there right now. So uh, for our customers, it's full shop that can support you in anything having to do with remixing materials. We, we cover all of those different bases. So we just have some really good people here that can help you across the board.